Modern encryption has all this incredible mathematical beauty to it. And one of the things that I find really fascinating that's really central to the idea of encryption as we, as we use it online today is something that's known as a trapdoor function. And trapdoor functions weren't really uh, even known or well understood until the 1960s. So what is a trapdoor function? So a trapdoor function has the following properties. If I give you the input, let's say I call the input M, then a trapdoor function should be easy to compute on this input. So I can take M and I can use my function F and I can compute some other, I can compute the result. Let's say the result is E. Um, so that's the forward step. So it's easy to compute the function. Now, let's say I want to start with E and get back to M. So for hash functions and so-called one-way functions, that is really, 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 really hard. And it's supposed to be hard. In fact, it's supposed to be impossible. And trapdoor functions are similar in a certain way. So without any extra information, if all I know is how to compute, uh, use M to compute E, I c it's very, 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 very difficult to compute um, M given E. So this is hard. So this direction is easy. This direction is hard. And by hard, I mean hard in the complexity term. So for example, I might have to guess every possible value of M and compute F to figure out which one maps to E in order to uh, compute M using E. So if I have M, it's very easy to get E. If I have E, it's very, very, very hard to get M. Except, and this is the part that gets really cool, except if I know a secret. So there is a secret that unlocks the trap door of the trap door function. So there is some extra piece of information where if I have that, so let's call this with the secret. So if I have the secret, then it is easy to take E and get back to M. So let's review. If I have M, it's very easy to apply the trapdoor function to get E. If I have E, it is impossible, or at least very, 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 very hard to get back to M, except if I know this special piece of information. That secret unlocks the trap door and allows me to take E and get back to M. Like I said before, trapdoor functions weren't really known about until fairly recently. And even now, we don't know of a huge number. There's one in particular that's very, very common online, but you might be able to get a sense or get a little bit of a hint about how trapdoor functions could be so powerful in building encryption systems online. So again, review one more time, and I'm, I'm not doing this to bore you, I'm just doing this to sort of get you to sense a little bit of the magic of this, because this is really, really mind blowing. So there is a category of functions by which if I give you M, it is very easy to apply the function and compute the output. But if I start with the output, it is very, very hard to get back to M, except if I know this secret piece of information. So that is the definition of a trapdoor function, and trapdoor functions are the basis for what's known as public key cryptography or asymmetric cryptography that is really in some ways the backbone crypto system that holds the entire internet together.